those Instagram brows you see. Yes, so that's what we're doing today. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ada, Ada BT Arena, and you're welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a brow tutorial because brows are very, very important in your makeup game. Like, it changes everything. And even though you don't know how to do it right, you don't know how to do it properly, it doesn't look like those Instagram brows and stuff like that, just keep doing it. The thing is, the more you do it, the better it becomes. Nobody is perfect. There is no such thing as a perfect brow. So you practice it and keep doing it, you become better in your brows and it's your brows. Only you can understand it better than any other person. So, so I'm going to zoom in right now so you can see what I'm doing. First of all, I'm going to set my brow with Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. So I'm just going to set my brow. So usually I do my brow, I do my, I do my skin first, like when doing my makeup, I first of all do my makeup before doing the brows. But for the sake of this video, I have a bare face, nothing is on my face right now. I just want to do the brow because we're focusing on the brow today. So you can do it whichever way works for you. You can do your brows first, you can do your skin first, you can do your skin work first. When I say skin work, I mean foundation primer and other stuff on your face so whatever works for you but for the sake of this video we're doing brows first so after setting your brows I'm just gonna use a spoolie and just brush it out I have pretty full brows so this is the ABH brow pomade in ebony and this is what we're using this is what I'm using today to draw my brow I love this pomade so much I love this pomade so much. It just gives your brow that extra edge. It makes it gives you that defined brow. Those Instagram brows you see. Yes. So that's what we're doing today. Get some product. I just put a little bit on the cover of the brow pomade. And we'll start first by lining the down of the brow all the way to the front. Don't be alarmed if the line is not straight, if it's not perfect. It's not supposed to be perfect. Because the concealer we use to clean will do all the work for us. So, after drawing the line, you go on top and draw another line. And if you take notes, the top line, I'm not drawing it from the front. Because drawing it from the front, in my own opinion, it won't give you that natural feel. So, I'm starting like from here. Very gentle, no pressure. And just join it to the other one, to the bottom. Um, the line we draw in the bottom. Don't be alarmed if it doesn't look neat. The concealer will do all the work for you. So, you can see. So, uh, join the up line and the down line together. So, now we have a tail. I'm just going back to darken the tail of the brow a little bit. So now I'm just going to use that same brush and make light strokes across the brow. Create kind of hair strokes. That same thing on this side. I'm drawing one line underneath the brow. You can see I'm 
and I'm connecting the upper line to the lower line to form a tail. When it gets to the front, you can see me, I'm just, um, I'm just pushing the brush, like whatever is left on the brush, I'm not going back into the brow pomade anymore. I'm just using whatever is left on the brush to just fill out my brows in front, just to give it that hair-like stroke effect. So now we're done with the brows. I'm going to go ahead and conceal the brows right now. But first of all, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills the brow gel. I'm just going to use it to run to brush the, br the brows. If you want that highlighted effect for your brows, you have to go in with a bright concealer. Don't be scared like, oh, it's going to be too much. So I'm going with a um, Juvia's Place concealer. So I'm just going in with the concealer. So first of all, I am not applying the concealer close to the brow. You can see? So I'm just going to build it up. And I'm not starting this light concealer from the front of my brow. You can see I'm starting from the middle. And I'm bringing it down. So now I'm going with... Um, my foundation shade, the 24 hours fresh wear, the Laurel foundation, and my shade 488. So my shade is 488. I'm just going to pop a little bit on the back of my hand, and that is what I would use in the front of my brow. So the reason I'm using my foundation shade for the front of my brow, so you could have, I don't want that harsh feel in the front of the brow. Just blend everything in. After blending that in, with the same foundation, my, my, uh, my foundation color, I'm going to use it to clean the upper part of my brow. And I'm not going directly on the brow. I'm not going so close to the brow. I'm just going to start from a little bit on top and work my way down. And if you use too much foundation at the top of your brow, it's going to be difficult for you to clean it up. So work in sections like start with a little bit and just work your way into it if you notice i'm using a little bit of foundation for the top of my brow so i don't have a hard, hard time to clean up the brow just a little bit so I'm just going to um, join it at the tail like joining the hop um, the up tail and the down tail together
set my brow with the same Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm using the brush to just set it So after setting the top part of my brow, I'm going to do the same exact thing on the other side of the brow. So I'm going in first with the concealer. I'm not going directly underneath the brow. I'm just going to apply it on my lid and work my way up. Because that way it's easier for you to correct it even if you make a mistake. A natural feel so you don't have like a harsh concealer at the starting part of your brow Blending is key guys, it above the brow and I'm taking a little bit of foundation because if you take too much, it's going to be difficult for you to blend it in. So just take a little bit and work in small sections. Blending is key guys, you have to be patient and just blend in the brow. Trust me guys, when you know how to do it, it won't take this long. The only reason I'm taking this long is because I'm talking I'm doing a talk through for this video. Usually it doesn't take me this long. So don't feel like, oh, it's too much, it's too much process. Once you can master it, trust me, it's not difficult at all. So pretty much we're done with the brow. I'm just going to go back in with the ABH Brow Clay Gel just to brush it out. This just make put everything together. It just makes it look it just gives it that brush effect. I don't know. You can see the way I'm brushing it gently with a brush. It just sets the brow in place. Like putting the hair in place and So pretty much we're done with the brows guys so tell me what you think about the brows if it's something you're willing to try don't be discouraged like I said practice make perfect and if you have any comments just leave it down below if you have questions leave it down below and I'll be responding to your questions and don't feel like oh this is too difficult for you like I said I'm gonna be doing another brow tutorial and that one is gonna be like with pencil if that is what you're more comfortable with, just leave a comment down below. But I will do the video just in case anybody needs it. Like I said, there are different ways you can do it. But this is the brow permit version. Tell me what you think. If it's something you're going to try. And I'll see you in my next one.